but it was a Long Island like Guinea yeah. kind of guy. Guinea, guinea. He was a guinea pig. He was a little guinea pig. pig. Uh, <laughs> and that's why it was so interesting because he was a he, guinea pig. It was a ta- oh yeah, because it was a talking guinea pig. I forgot about that part. <laughs> Episode 42, about the kindling, the kinding, the kinder, the kindest, the, the kindest kindler <laughs> ever who swindled. Kind people. The quindling kindler, the, the spindling, the Christmas, spindling spindler. the spindler, sp- the European, <laughs> the tind, the, t- the Christmas swindling, the titillating <laughs> splinder. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> the splinter riddler. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the sweetest, sweetest little kind guy. The s- <laughs> nor guy Swedish. One mistake. The kindest kindler. The little sparking kindling <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> the little Keebler elf that could. <laughs> <laughs> On Netflix. The quibbling. <laughs> the quibbling quibbler. The quivering. The, qui- the quivering. Qu- <laughs> Fallon, can you write all of the- <laughs> these out, please, when we do the edit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's going to be time consuming. Uh, did you guys take notes? I literally was like angrily ty- no. typing no. in my phone. No. I didn't want to forget anything. Wait, um, before that, we have a new we're podcast not- guest today. Happy birthday, Fallon. Emma's on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You're we- welcome. <laughs> yeah. Emma took your place. It's because you needed a Tinder expert, right? That's why. I'm oh, wow. oh. Have you See, that's, I didn't even know you use it. Tinder, no. <laughs> <laughs> if I watched this two months ago, it Strictly probably would have been a different experience Strictly. for me. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I think. It's really weird timing for me to right. watch this. Yeah, because you're like, you're like neck deep in, in Tinder right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Sorry. Does that start that's, with that's, you? That's 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 the sleeping Tinder machine. <laughs> that's the Tinder bear asleep in his that in under his, under in his the, cave. Uh, the Tinder bear. That's the Tinder bear <laughs> that sounds so sleeping cute. and hibernating. Hi, I'm the hopefully, Tinder bear. Hopefully, forever. Oh no, no. I, I I'm the, the Tinder bear. Are you feeling? Like you want to kiss somebody? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the son of a sweet, sweet billionaire. <laughs> hey, uh, listeners, do you have any idea what this podcast is about yet? It's about the bumble. Thing. Honestly, I thought it was about the Keebler bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about the bumble stumbler. <laughs> the hinge the, the hinge, the hinge The hinge, the fringes of the hinge The hinge minge. The hinge bin. Uh, the match.com. Uh. Oh. 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 The match. The match batch. <laughs> oh. The Mitch bitch. <laughs> the Christian mingler. <laughs> the swindling Christian mingler. <laughs> the plenty of fishermen. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Uh, Emma, <laughs> what did you. I would like a female perspective on this 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 movie oh, here. Just get right into it. Of course, it. that's why I'm here. Well, no, because you know, for I'm you, you, I'm literally sweating you had from already, laughing. You had already <laughs> seen it. I think you saw it first. I think you saw it before. Anyways, Did you recommend right? it to everybody? Is that? I, no, I totally did. No, what I watched was the Inventing Anna, and then I got on a true crime binge, and I was Inventing like, Anna is also true crime. Oh yeah, that one's the. <sighs> Which one's Aaron's better? One. I gotta weigh in. You here. can't really compare no. it because one's a movie and one's a TV series. Oh, okay. I don't think I could have watched the Tinder Swindler if it was like a TV series. I think yeah, it me had either. to be a movie all sitting, like one sitting type It would have been too exhausting to watch it. If it, if it was a like series, though, episodes. it would have been that much more shocking. If I hadn't seen the yeah. trailer for it, it even would have been that much more shocking. Mm. Um, so I think I, I was the one that brought it up the other day, right? Uh, I was the one. I think uh, the reason... Uh, I want it. No. Oh, well. Well, well, my oh, idea. I just well, this was my idea. I know we started with Emma, but I think we should focus <laughs> on yeah, me. Yeah, there you go. You're, you're Cody. It's not Woman's History Bring the attention back. Because uh, <laughs> what I have to say is more important. Well, I felt uncomfortable. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, the warmth of the spotlight being on Emma felt a little <laughs> cold for me. <laughs> In fact, if we could get an actual spotlight... <laughs> Imagine we get the old one that we have, and it's just like this yeah. green light. Mm. So, uh, I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Such, 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 someone who hasn't watched it will now explain it to us. 
<laughs> I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, no, I actually sure. wa- I, I wanted to actually mention Inventing Anna because I had the reverse. You watched Inventing Anna and you're like, oh, con artist, true crime. I'm going to keep on this path. Well, I watched Tindler. Actually, I watched Puppet Master first. <laughs> okay. Which uh, is like the exact same uh, story as the Tinder Swindler. The really? Poopoo <clears throat> Smasher? Because the, the byline of that uh, is the Puppet Master, the ultimate con man. Yeah, what's his method? <clears throat> very, very similar. Same Psychologically, it's the same con. It's just a different story. So his his approach is to tell people. He did, he was doing it way back in like the 80s. Mm. But it, it's he's still going, which is crazy. Oh, my God. Um, he, uh, he would tell people. This is, he's a British guy. He would tell people <clears throat> that he was an MI5 agent, like, the equivalent of like the CIA, right? And he would tell them like, uh, this is in the middle of the the conflict between um, Ireland and England, oh. and how Ireland wanted to like be liberated and stuff, and so they yeah. had the LRA and all this stuff, and so he basically would lie, tell people that he was part of the MI5, and he was wrapped up in this really dangerous uh, spy game, and that he would kind of like get them involved, and then make them ha- have to live on the run because oh. because the en- enemies are after them and basically he would just keep people in a constant state of of movement and would um extort them and their families for like protection money and how he, did he get people to trust him he's just incredibly charismatic and believable and the bigger the lie the less apt people are to question it apparently and uh, so he was like y- y- making people genuinely big, big believe. At, big as in the stakes are really right. high. Like, making people, like your life aud- is on the line. The audacity. Yeah, yeah. so he would, t- and women were more easily fooled by this than men, but he did con men with it as well. Mm. And so he would just go from person to person, and he would have like four or five people at once in different locations around Europe um, all bought into these different versions of the same lie that they were wrapped up in this spy game and that they were their li- they were on the run because their lives were in danger and they needed their families to send them money in order to keep them going and like the tinder one seems easier to do well some of some of these uh people were trapped in this cycle for over 10 years what like living in like safe houses and crap like that um, at least the Tindler Swindler was giving people a good time. Along I love the way. how you are still saying Tindler. <laughs> Tindler, <laughs> the Keebler Elf, was giving people a good time. <laughs> He's giving some nice tickles. So I watched the Puppet Master, and I'm like, I don't watch the Tinder Swindler. And then I just want to. And then I was like, Hey, this uh, Inventing Anna is number one on Netflix, which I'm coming to learn means absolutely nothing. <laughs> I watched 20 minutes of it, and I was like, This is the worst writing and acting. I, I can't do it because I saw it was a nine-hour commitment. And I was like, it's oh. a mini series. I gave it 20 minutes yeah. and I was like, I'm not about to. Oh, if you're not into yeah, it, it's minutes, for me. you got it. Yeah. You got to just check out 15 to 20 minutes is a good benchmark. Like I used to finish even I used to watch any movie all the way through if I started, even if I didn't like it, because bec- I, I was like, oh, well, what if it gets good? But now I'm like, if you don't, st- if you can't start strong, <laughs> but a movie, it's like, all right. But nine hours, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, like, I'm like, what am I gonna finish this man, one man. episode and then be like, this is bad writing? Like, uh, I knew, <clears throat> I'd like to hear you, as someone who watched, did it get better? It but doesn't like, seem like you really want to hear what she has to say. <laughs> I, I, I'd love to hear from Emma. I'd like, like to bring the spotlight back to on Thank you. Emma. Did inventing Anna get good? Because I couldn't do it. It's one of those things where I liked the progression of it, of being able to see other people's point of views. Because one of the girls actually wrote a book called my friend Anna Mm. and she totally sold her out and that's how she eventually got caught Mm. so it's weird to see all these different biases of what's the actual story because at the beginning of every episode they're like here's the true story but it's not all truth is it and I was just like I just want to know what happens (laughs) like I I don't hours later yeah and I don't want to be guessing so I finished it and I was just like oh and I felt like the same way after tender uh I almost said Tindler Swindler. If you've got Tindler Swindler. Can we just... <laughs> Crindler. Let's just, Cringing Let's criminal. just go for Tindler. <laughs> let's just let it Cringing be. Cringing criminal. The Tindler, Tindler Swindler. I, I felt the same way after that one where I was like, I feel like I need more satisfaction, but I'm not feeling that. There is no satisfaction. So you, w- you feel like you need more satisfaction from the swindling... Bindler? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Keebler. I mean, I don't <laughs> think it's meant to be satisfying. <clears throat> I think that's probably a means. I thought it was going to be more satisfying. Also, 
Well, yeah, it, it. I just finished it five minutes ago. What What would <laughs> yeah. have been you satisfying? You came in. You came in justice? watching something on your yeah. phone, and I was like, so rude. And then, and then, that's what I was thinking. And then, <laughs> and then, uh, and then you're over there in the corner, and, I, and it is like, ah, oh, for, for finishing the, the spoiler. For, for. Finishing his homework. I was like, oh, okay, I respect that. You were that kid out in the hallway, How like quickly? Scr- scribbling on his homework. On the yeah. bus, going yeah. over the bumps, <laughs> and your handwriting's like chicken oh. scratch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was filling in for Jed because he, hey, he wasn't able to listen to it filling or watch in. it yesterday. Uh, I watched the first half last night, and then I was like, oh, I'm tired. Yeah. Mm. And I thought that Jed would be on the podcast, but it's, uh, then he texted this morning. He said no. I, like, it's, it's I a, could fill in. It's a surprising... It's a surprisingly like entertaining, well made documentary, like yeah, as was, a film. Well made. As a film, but it's they do a really great job of making it like uh emotionally connective and interesting with the editing throughout. You the, know, how do you make structure. a WhatsApp conversation interesting? Right. Yeah. It's great. The structure was really was really nice. I mean, the fact that they had like open access to their conversations. I was yeah. like I was like, wait, are they Recordings. Are they? Yeah. Are they, uh, at first, with the text, I was like, "Are these the real text?" But then they have voice recordings. I'm like, "Oh my god, this is, this is so, like, intimate into the window of yeah. their like love life and ju- like diving into it, seeing how she did fall in love with him." I was like, "Well, this is convinced. This is a good way to like structure the story where they're not like jumping right into like she gets swindled." But like, yeah. You, I mean, you know, but like you're watching, you're like, "Oh, okay, I can see how, you know, you could." fall in love with this guy or, or whatever but i also felt pretty like i felt pretty bad for her. like you're not like you, you you're like all, you're, all the disney stuff in the beginning and it's just like uh, yeah and it's just it's beach. just pointing out like how how shallow and like well, naive naive yeah. she was and i was just like oh sweetie like i felt, well, I felt bad so like, i 20 minutes for the in, first for the first girl um whatever her Cecilia, name. Cecilia, yeah. Cecilia. 20 minutes in i paused it because i was like i was watching it with malia and i was like i don't think we've heard from anybody else, we haven't seen or heard anybody else from. You get really yeah, invested like, <clears throat> in her it's story her first. for twenty minutes, just her. I'm like, that's that's a lot to well, put on she, one interview. She, but she also she carried the the like other people. Obviously, later on, are really more responsible for for yeah. trying to take him down or whatever. But it's really more about like she initiated that, and I think it she was like the catalyst to like him. Yeah. Well, and they address it in the mid. I mean, towards the end too, with like. She knew with releasing the article and everything, like she was going to get hate and be called yeah, she's shallow like, this and is all very, that stuff. Yeah, this is very like intimate. Yeah, I, I was totally guilty of like you know, <laughs> and I empathized with her, and uh, I was like, yeah. Well, well, halfway through the movie, I was literally like, I think I wrote some really mean things on my phone, like taking notes. Like, <laughs> I mean, I looked at his <clears throat> photos that she was showing of him, and it's like him sitting leaning back in a private jet and all that, and I'm like. Me personally, I guess she has different tastes, but me personally, I would be like, that's like not a profile that unless you're looking for someone who's but rich, that's the that thing. You swipe right My on. notes are so like after seeing the whole movie, I'm like looking back at the notes and from the beginning of the movie, I'm just like, oh, uh-huh, so mean. <laughs> Cause like, cause you're just, you're just watching, you're just like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Private jet? Son of a billionaire? Like, like, what do you expect? You know? Why is she laughing and smiling in the beginning? Like it's not a disturbing story. Like she was like actually. I know. She's actually I, yeah. like, she's like has like fond memories. I'll say this. It's not like it's I not thought like that was yet. great though. During that Beauty and the Beast montage. Yeah. Um, I paused it and checked who directed it, and sure enough, it was it was a female director. And I go, that makes so much sense for this part because <laughs> they're doing <laughs> such a saying. good job. Uh, capturing capturing the, the female's experience of falling in love and like being like wooed. And they were like, I was like feeling that from her. And I was like, I don't think a man, I'm not sure a man could, but like, I was just like, this makes sense that this is directed by a female because they're really playing that up and like really getting you to understand how she was feeling about this guy in the beginning. Well, I think in general, mm-hmm. women have maybe more of that, um, I don't know, like that sort of fantasy kind of like, I don't want to say like knight in shining armor, but you know what I mean. Like there, that's played up. If you grow up with like <coughs> in the Disney. the eighties and nineties, or even I don't know, maybe even before that, <clears throat> yeah, like Disney and all these stories are like kind of responsible for selling that. And for a guy, it's just like, sh- is she beautiful? 
Yeah. <laughs> and we're just like, I'll, whatever I got to do to <laughs> you just get it. I feel like that's easier for us. <laughs> she's pr- if she's pretty, she likes me. I feel like that's easier on Tinder now because you can completely like use certain photos to shape that sort of story for someone or like mm. Photoshop something so that like someone looks at it and they're like, oh, he's handsome and he loves puppies. Yeah. Too, or like he has his mom in his photo. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, like, yeah, you easily to romance. You assume it. whatever, if it's like a thing that you're into, you're like, it's the best version of that. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> no one's like, I guess <clears throat> some, I've never been on a dating app, but I assume it's easy to just like buy into the, the facade really quickly. Um, I, I mean, if you're, if you're, well, so she kind of, she kind of acknowledged the psychology of that in the beginning. She was like, even though you know, perfection is not real yeah when you grew up she's like she said in the beginning like my uh, growing up my exposure to love and love stories was disney yeah and like even though you you learn as you grow older that that's not real it's still in your brain it's right. still in the back of your brain saying yeah. like hey maybe it is real maybe it could be for me and so yeah. she entered herself injected herself into like a fairy tale and like assigned him the role of the prince. Yep. <clears throat> like the dude is leaving London. He says that right off the bat that night. Do you want to meet up? Do you want to go on a private jet? Meet me at the super fancy hotel and then sleep with me that night. It's like, baby, it's all the emotional what you triggers. <laughs> it's just but, like, yeah. And then he's right off the bat like pouring his heart out and like obviously this guy's like good looking, wearing like really nice clothes, like charming. Like it's not just that I think she's a gold digger or something, but. That's part of it, for sure. No, like that she's, she's just psychologically like son of a though. Like, he on. he is <clears throat> using every strategy that he can, and I I was thinking back and like, okay, one of the strategies that that he had to have in play was the type of people that he's uh, swiping. I don't know which <laughs> direction, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> matching with up. is the brightness is is swiping women is, who is have super that super like okay. that's super. <laughs> There's, that's a real women, thing. women. Sorry, have expensive taste. <laughs> <laughs> that it's that's exactly right. It's a, that's exactly right. He knows that the type of person he's going to attract. Who have expensive taste, but also are like, uh, stupid. They have a no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Who have a career? They are making money somehow. He he can't just have someone who's gonna. Well, he's a predator, so he knows how to like pick his prey but i'm also sure that he probably casts a pretty wide net and there's probably a lot of women who don't get swept up into it like you know don't buy the lie sure so for every three women that he's conning there's probably 10 that didn't work it didn't work on you know i don't know but i would assume that well i was actually surprised that the documentary only covered three women's stories Mm -hmm. i thought eventually it was gonna like snowball and it would be like interviews with like a hundred women or something it did that kind of montage of just like voice the recordings voice memos. at the yeah, end that was all through the years and you realize he's been doing this since he was yeah. a teenager yeah yeah but we're doing different different types of scams do you guys would you still would you feel the same way about her if he ended up if everything about him was real like is it, it was it a dumb choice just because he ended up being a con man or would you still be like what are you doing no, no. i still think it, it was it, shallow from the beginning yeah it was like, it was it was shallow but i don't i don't think that i don't think she was like stupid or like it, it was it was naive and it's also a little bit yeah a little bit shallow but and she took a risk i mean <clears throat> it's taking a huge risk she got she, on her a friends yeah she got on her a friends yeah. were like what are you doing and she's WhatsApp. like, ah, I'm spontaneous. Well, some YOLO. Of, I'm not like other girls. <laughs> some of her friends were. Wait, wait. Did she say YOLO? She said YOLO in response to them being like, Hey, are you sure about this? Do you know yeah, this guy? She, you could get kidnapped. She was more interested in. She's a, like, Oh, I didn't even think about she, being kidnapped. She's more interested. Yeah, right. Like, come on. Like, she was more interested in a thrill and a, a having a good story. Yeah. Yep. Which you know. that's f- fair. Like, <clears throat> there's a certain kind I of person who would be spontaneous and just be like, This is you know, like this yeah. is life. Like, and let's that's go. not. You know, you can't really completely fault her for that. Like, as I was watching it, I was, like, totally judging, like, idiot. But I'm also, yeah, I'm watching it knowing the outcome to a degree. I mean, it's called the Tinder Swindler. (laughs) So I'm like, I know you get swindled, you dummy. (laughs) What are you doing? She did. (laughs) This might be the graphic designer in me, but the one thing that triggered and set me off was she was looking at his pictures, and there's one of him on a vacation with his father and his mother. And you could tell it was Photoshopped? You could see the glow around it. You could see it right away? I'm like, looking at it, I'm like, 
I wouldn't look at this picture and be like, wow, he's on a rich vacation with his family. I'd yeah, look at it and be like, you're a Photoshop yeah. expert. Yeah, but like he literally had a glow around him. <laughs> if you go back and you watch it, like, well, he's see angelic. That there's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't hurt a fly, but like there's a glow about it. So I'm like, yeah. I guess I'm easier to spot. Well, you like, do and then they, they uh, do the little fade out with the picture later <laughs> yes. on in the yeah, story. Yeah. The, the thumbnail needs to be something like that. <laughs> With us, like in the different photos or uh, something. No, we can I'll like, Photoshop you guys, uh, all of us with him. In and that I'll family photo. Yes! <laughs> I'll photo. We'll look more real in it than he does. It'll be us doing like little peace signs <laughs> next to his parents, and you just see the obvious glow around him. Now, I got to say, like him creating. Wait, quickly. Yeah. Shout out to Emma because she's been doing all the really cool thumbnails. Any thumbnails. of the good thumbnails and, for her. Well, if you've been listening to or watching any of the episodes recently and you laughed at the thumbnail, that was all Emma. That was Emma. I, I love them. They make me laugh. They make me laugh, too. So I, I cracked up when, when you did the Dune one. I love that. <laughs> it, now we just have to outdo ourselves. The Nightmare <laughs> Alley one is, is it's hilarious. Funny too. It'll get more I'm, and more bizarre. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping. Uh, How bizarre. But, yeah, so I kind of feel like this guy is, like, I kind of wish that we could really dive into the psychology of his history and the way he thinks the way i see it is he not to try to psychoanalyze this guy because i don't think i could do it but i do it i don't believe that he (laughs) is ever capable of telling the truth or 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 accepting any sense of responsibility in his own mind not outwardly not just outwardly and not just like lying i think he's at the point where he's lied to himself for so long that he doesn't know the difference and yeah. he would so an interview with him would be fascinating. Apparently, he's actually wanting to do like a reality show or something. <laughs> of course, he is. about himself. Yeah. But like that would be fascinating to watch because you would be able to see just how much bullshit is just like <clears throat> circulating in his own brain constantly. You don't feel bad for them in any way. I feel bad for something that I didn't done. No, I feel bad for what had ever happened to myself. I want to clear my name. I want to say to the world, this is not true. How do you fund your lavish lifestyle? I'm a legit businessman. You know, I bought uh, Bitcoin in 2011, which was nothing. I don't need to say how much it's worth now. And he had he he if someone if he gets caught he lashes out and he like tries a different he tries a different approach and then he lashes out again he tries a different approach again and like he's not. He's not <clears throat> with it. Like he, yeah, he's mm-hmm. he's not living in reality. He's also imagine living the way he does on the go, just like the the, the fanciest restaurants, the nicest clothes, like dating models, private jets, living that way and never actually working for it. Like yeah. he's working for it, but he's like working. his his standard of life is so swirled up in like just like crazy town. And then he's also just as a knee-jerk reaction, like a brilliant manipulator, liar. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just don't think he, I don't think he actually uh, thinks he's, what he's doing is even, there's anything wrong with it. I don't think oh, he no, thinks no. that there's any, I don't think he has any sense of remorse. I don't think he, he, I mean, complete sociopath type yeah. of behavior. What's it, when Probably does a, complete, like, narcissistic. When does a like, sociopath just, become a psychopath? I think he's a psychopath. What's the difference? I think sociopath is lacking any sense of, of, of empathy or, like, there's a, there's a ripple effect of my words and actions affecting other people. And psychopath is that plus action, actual destruction on top like of that. Like, leveraging it almost like for your own. Like, psychopath, as far as I understand, it's like, yeah, you lack empathy and you, and that's, you could be a sociopath and not actually, like, mm-hmm. be physically harming anyone yeah. or mentally or emotionally harming anyone. I mean, but this, he was this guy, emotionally and mentally harming people and, and act, doing uh, financial damage. Like he was ruining oh their God. lives. They're still well, paying it off. Yeah, they're and still paying for it. Yeah, which doesn't make sense. But how, like, how is that? Uh, well, yeah. because they will, they willfully lent him money. You yeah. can't. A financial institution is not going to be like, oh, I'm sorry, you got tricked. You you vol- No one had a gun to your head. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he, he had an emotional gun to their head, uh, but when yeah. um. Oh, what else? I, I'm actually not going to read a lot of that's these. That's insane. Online. But going back to that, that's Emotional one of the gun. <laughs> Band name. <laughs> <laughs> Called uh, it. <laughs> I thought it was funny how it was friend zoning the other girl and it still worked. Yeah. I know. The girl but friend zoned him. I was thinking about was that a lot. still wanting to hang out with him a lot well, was, and then but, still it was giving so him weird money. That they no, they went friend on a date him. and he made a move. She friend, yeah. She's, she's like, it wasn't It really wasn't like quite right, but like I'll still like just 
commit my life to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like, what's <laughs> happening right now? Like, what is like what, an what? emotional connection? She's thought him uh, as a very. She's like, I'm, I'm, I miss you already after like two days, and it's like, I mean, he, he, he must have done something weird making that move or something like. I don't, I don't know. know. That was one of my it's favorite transitions was at the end of the first girl story. She's like, he's in trouble. He's going to get hurt. And all of a sudden it cuts to Oslo and it's like club music. Yeah. Going yeah. And, it's, and, it's, and it's just Oslo. Like it's some sort of like Avengers movie <laughs> with like, this is the location. And he's like out partying and stuff. And you see his bodyguard. What is it? Peter? Yeah. 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 His uh, bodyguard he's just Peter like, like <laughs> <laughs> partying with him. I'm just like, okay, like. This is like the most bizarre thing, but I thought it was such a good transition between those to show like that how whole trash she is. there was like a whole sequence of her sending like messages like, oh, are you, are you OK? And then <laughs> he's just like traveling across the uh, the the continent, Europe. And he. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> We need a we need a we a need a title show. we need a title card of like when Jamin's I like three, three, got so two, excited. <laughs> we yeah. need like little steam. <laughs> it's like when <laughs> it's like when you see like the Nancy Pelosi interviews and she's like talking and then like like her hard drive starts to fill up and like the drives slow down and she just <laughs> she just crashes like a robot in the middle of a sentence. Have you seen that? I don't yeah, like uh, morning. Noise. Morning podcast. Well, you're still drinking that espresso. <laughs> it's no, I, I'm, I'm still kind of, I need an espresso on top of my coffee. I'm still kind of waking up. But I had, I had, I, I looked at my notes and I have one major problem that just keeps coming up with, with this whole thing. Go ahead. And she, uh, and I, this is with all of the women is my enemies are after me. Yeah. And, 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 uh, my enemies are attacking potentially attacking you and then get my bo my bodyguard like you're not gonna ask more questions about this i don't know dude you're, like, you're okay with 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 this guy in the diamond industry ha like living a life that's this dangerous you don't want to know more detail like because i'm watching it like no 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 that's what like tell me more and they're they're fine with just like well, sure, I'll give you twenty five thousand. Like what? Or they did ask questions, but do, do yeah, you know, but he his, just never his expounds. His explanations are so cartoon and vague. My, you don't know how my enemies. After it's like <laughs> again, he's a DC You're villain. <laughs> he doesn't fully explain his plan. I know. <laughs> it, it's also funny that like this whole time, it's I I picture someone who scams other people as they just have like a really nice apartment that they just need to keep paying the bills for, and they like, you know, and they just kind of like just like li live life and are like lazy and and just like have have like very organized so they're like continually paying their bills and like, oh, I have to like get this scam going or whatever. I think it's I don't it's really morbidly funny to me, but it is kind of funny to me that like this guy's life is just like drive he's just flying around the world Crazy. going clubbing and eating at restaurants and staying at hotels. I just want to go to bed. After yeah, that. <laughs> I think I mm. think like that's his life. I think someone like him is like he's not. That's his, that's success to him. I think. Yeah, he's he's living he's living the dream that he wants, and he's he's not really thinking ahead. Like he's not really. I I don't get the impression. He's that thinking he, ahead just enough to like get the next page. The next he's target. perfectly living in the moment. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, oh my gosh, the secret. Yeah. <laughs> the secret of life. No, like he all he's thinking is far ahead of who's my next mark to keep this going. But beyond that, I don't think he's like, what's my five-year plan? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. And, um, what's your dream? When he was in jail, maybe he was like, hmm. He was scheming. But what's amazing about these people, and... Uh, and you These know, people as in the scam artists? As in psychopathic con artists, you know, uh, pathological liars, mm. is it seems as though they very much are incapable of uh, change even after they get caught. So, like... You guys watch the Fire Festival docs? That guy? I know about them. I didn't watch either of them. So no. Bill, Billy McFarland, yeah, who, I who's know. the guy who perpetuated that whole scam, he's such a similar, S very similar type of person who just li lie led to lie led to lie led to lie, and and you're leaving destruction in your wake, but you don't care because you're moving forward into the lies, and then you end up scamming, you know, however like twenty thousand people or whatever, into going to this concert and. Um, he gets caught. He gets arrested, and they in I think it was the Hulu version of that doc. They in in one of them he's not a, a interview subject, and the other one he is. Mm. And the one that he's an oh, interview subject. What? Oh, I yeah. didn't see that one. 
So whichever one you didn't watch is the one where he's an interview subject, Hulu or Netflix. I think it's Hulu that he's. I in. watched the Netflix. There you one. go. So in Hulu, he's actually sits down and is interviewed, and no emotion, mm-hmm. no remorse. Directors asking him very straight questions. It's like that biotech uh, CEO, uh, that that woman who got caught for scamming. Oh, they're making a TV show with Amanda Seyf. Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, something like that. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. making one now. Her, her. She's the same way. Like, you look into her eyes, and she oh, looks the, the, like... Yeah, she the, is, the blood testing machine She scale. is yeah. dead inside. There's nothing there. There's n- there's zero remorse. Maybe these and people don't have souls. Well, I think it's I think it's <laughs> that you... I think that there's probably... I, th- I don't know. Maybe there's redemption really for everyone. I believe that when I said it for a second ago. Well, dude, there is something there to like the the erosion of their souls over time. Yeah, maybe so they might have just, just like, like a wall, just a little maybe it just grain dies. of a soul left. But like, <laughs> you know, what's a really good example of this though in the pharmacist mm-hmm. the, when the, the when they finally people? interview the the woman. I can't. Is it Jacqueline? Oh, exactly the the, the pill mill the, doctor. The doctor. Yeah, and yeah. she had been through the car accident and everything and then they interview her and she sits down and you like get this little window you into look at her, her face and she's she is, sinister she like, doesn't have any remorse none. she she no. doesn't even acknowledge her like the things that she did no and then you ladder that up that in in the pharmacist the, and to the, the purdue president yeah, yeah. and and he's on he's in front of i don't know senate or whatever and they're interviewing him and saying do you believe that purdue played a role in the uh, the increase in addiction to opioids no, I don't believe that. And then just, just like empty eye. And, and he, they couldn't, he would take no responsibility. Like, no, I, I, it, I have, I know people throw around like, like, nar- n- like narcissistic behavior or narcissist, like that word a lot. But I've heard there is a, there is something that happens where if you don't reflect or like look inward in your own life ever <laughs> really and really let that sink in and take the time for it in a way that's not just like self-hatred it's like there is a block like I yeah. there's just like you're like something in like you're you know I don't know like <laughs> I don't know the science I don't know like hey, I'm, not, I'm not gonna act brain. like I'm, I'm like you know your mind brain <laughs> I'm not gonna act like I know that what's actually happening in your mind but I uh there is like something where it's it's um, it's like it, you're physically and mentally like incapable yeah. of saying, oh, yeah. of I'm saying, oh, wait, I'm doing something that is wrong, objectively, like, affecting other people. Yeah. And it's like you're just so wrapped up in your own little universe. And I have dealt with people like that where there is no taking responsibility. There is no identifying like with their own mm-hmm. crap. It's just like. It's always blame. It's always another person. It's just like, whoa, like you're really gone. <laughs> like you really yeah. don't I have, think, well, it's like, it's like a, there's a switch that's just like not. I think there's on. so many, lo- like, I think on the most extreme, like, even as bad as these scam artists are and how many lives they may have ruined. I, I guess you could argue like the Purdue, that example. That's like caused more damage to per- lives and families than, than even. The chickens? That's the far- no, the pharmacist, the, the Purdue big, farm. Uh, they're the ones that created Oxycontin. Um, right, 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 right. I would right. argue, like, what I was about to say was, hey, at least these scam artists aren't serial killers. But the truth is that if you're just going by the uh, numbers uh, and the damage... A scam artist in a pharmaceutical company is, is way worse than is a serial, a serial killer. killer. Yeah, is way worse than a serial killer. Because the scale and the mass of their, their damage is global and, and generational. Yeah, a serial killer just and kills like fifteen people, and it's hands off, <laughs> right? And they're and they're so detached. There, there's so many layers of accountability. That yeah, serial killers are way better people. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm just saying, if we're just if we're just tallying lives lost, <laughs> yeah. If like, we're playing a numbers game, yeah. But this is the thing: is it, it? How do you measure someone actually strangling someone to death versus like physically with their bare hands versus like signing some papers? Right. Is it? Could you? It's a different type of. It's a different type of evil, but of same blocka- as of mental blockage. Similar result, maybe. Yeah, like, like I don't think these corporate enough. psychopaths could maybe be as capable of killing someone with their bare Strangling. hands. Strangling, yeah. Who but knows? but Str- Scranton Strangler, the Scrampling Scrampler, <laughs> Tenlar Swindler. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see what you're saying though. Like, because 
you could almost justify like, oh, well, they were just they just saw the big paycheck in front of them and they just signed blindly Mm -hmm. and didn't think much about it. The thing about someone who's conning is I I feel like I could understand that mindset where you're you're like, well, hey, you're giving it up freely to me. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing is playing a role. And a lot of people play different roles every day in their life. Like there's the difference is about these these people we're talking about is that they're just willing to take bigger risks. Mm -hmm. Like the people who are like doing this in the corporate environment or like in small ways every day in ways that none of their friends or family know about. It's the same small little decisions, lying to yourself, manipulating others. Yeah, justifying along the way. Justifying, never really taking responsibility, never really like saying like, oh, maybe this there's a better way or maybe like this is going to come back to bite me and like maybe I should care. Like I feel like there's probably a lot more of that happening. And in the corporate world, there's a lot of just saying, well, I'm not breaking any laws. You know what I mean? Like I'm, oh, pro- yeah. I'm protected by X, Y, or Z documents. It's, it's the, yeah, it's the, it's the morality based on if I get caught versus right. the morality of like, is this right? Uh, yeah. Like, are you actually creating like a false ripple effect? That's like going to come back in ways that you can never imagine. And like, yeah, it comes down to morality. And ethics, and that's an internal thing, <laughs> like your own principles, your own moral lines that you won't cross, regardless of the payout, regardless of the benefit to you. I will not do X, Y, or Z because it's just flat out wrong. Yeah, and but some plus people don't have an that. acknowledgement of the ripple effect, like you're saying. Like, who else is this affecting besides me? Well, it has to be something that, like, if it's not personal, like if you don't care about lying unless you get caught, like. <laughs> you're there's there's you're like you're twisted you know what i mean like if if you don't care Mm. that you do it (laughs) because like you didn't get caught it's just like well something's something's off you know Mm. and like these people are like they're yeah they're really just (laughs) they're just willing to take it farther than maybe most people and in some ways it's just like like you know uh, i I don't know like Like you're you're i'm not saying i like respect this guy (laughs) well there is a level of of it's, genius uh, yeah it's there's a level of just like wow like <clears throat> like i'm I'm actually glad you can see examples of this in life hmm. because it's so extreme and like you you would think like how could anybody but it's just like <laughs> what do you mean like like one <laughs> step at a time this guy, yeah like this and guy's been doing it for years and it's working and it's like he really he's not gonna get caught and if you are really just like shut down and this guy's never gonna have love Really, this guy's never gonna settle down. He's not gonna have like a true connection. Mm-hmm. He does have a girlfriend right now, and he's big, never gonna have self. He's got a girlfriend. Like, he's <laughs> never gonna. He's never gonna have like a right. a bond with someone yeah. in a real, genuine way and like true, like love connection. I don't believe because I just think he's so completely hollowed out and like rotten. Yeah, that like the erosion of his soul. Is he like, doesn't have it. He doesn't have. He doesn't have the ability to do that. I think it's probably too late. And that, that gets to the point, sorry, I'll let you talk, but <laughs> it gets to the point about <laughs> how, what I was saying is that you look at the pattern of these people, they get caught and then they get out and they just go right back to it. Like Billy McFarland. Yeah, because they don't know another way. Maybe this is just me telling myself that because the ending of the movie is so frustrating. Yeah. You <laughs> I'm like, well, he's, he's never going to be fulfilled because <laughs> <laughs> you, you think no, that like can't be real. <laughs> your, your brain goes, because probably if you're a well-adapted, healthy person with a soul and you ever did do something <laughs> wrong and you got caught, which we all have you probably learned from that mistake and said, okay, I'm not going to do that again. That was wrong. I hurt someone. I, you know, whatever it might be. Yeah. They don't have that. So as soon as they get out and are able to do it again, they do it. And the, and you see that with him and you see that with the puppet master. You see that with Billy McFarlane, the fire festival guy. You see it with big corporations who just, you know, I, I don't want to get into it, but you look at big pharma and you look at their past sanctions and their past, you know, transgressions. And then, they're just right back at it again. And it's they like, find another loophole. Yeah. So you're going to say well, something. Well, one of the most like unbelievable weird things that I found was the girl that he got pregnant who had the baby that oh, she was just yeah. like, That's she's like, like oh, a yeah. big mystery. Yeah. He, he brought her they on didn't the explain. plane. I, as soon as I saw that video of her like walking, holding the kid and stuff, I was like, yeah, no, this is definitely not just like 
an ex that he's on good terms with. But the fact that at the end, she was like still believing that he's a good person and like- Did you feel she say that? She was actually brainwashed or do you think that she was in on the con now? Like maybe she- I think she was in on the con. She was an an original victim and then she was like, oh, I'll join you. Like, let's do this. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I think she could, I think it could be either way. It could be that she's probably deluded, but also like- Money talks, you know, like people are willing to do yeah. a lot for that. She's like Take care of me sort of thing. Like now yeah, she's, she's just riding the wave. Yeah. yeah. And and he's she wouldn't use, say that, though, her. unless she had like a larger motivation. I feel money. Exactly. <laughs> no. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's my uh, I think but maybe she's she, like, I need the money to take care of my kid. But you know? maybe he really is taking care of her and she really does believe that to a degree. You know what I mean? Like even if yeah. she even if she and then she's him, lying to herself. Right. Even if she caught him. I mean, she's not willing to be a part of, right? Like, she wasn't willing to really. No, she wasn't in it. She wasn't willing to say anything. Oh, in the in the documentary, bad, bad about right. him. Yeah, it's that's a really weird, mis- mysterious part of the story. It's like it's bizarre. So the end of Puppet Master, which it, it's still worth watching, but basically the guy, um, he's been doing this this scam since the '80s, and it, the way they do it is they parallel a modern day 2020 story that's happening with like a 1985 story and then you realize oh it's the same guy doing something the same thing to two people decades apart no yeah. way and um the core of the interview the modern days is, is a brother and sister whose mom fell into this guy's scam and uh has been in it for years and years and years and she has basically uh disowned her family and she's just off somewhere with this guy to this day and they've had a few points of contact with her where they and they even had cops find her once and say hey you are in the clutches of a con artist you're this man is, has done this litany of crimes he's been arrested <clears throat> they, you know and she go and she just goes no i know all that i love him and like she's just mm. so like whatever it is like she certain people are so broken that even even they, when they know that they're being deceived, it's just like I'm. I'm well, Cecilia was like that. She was like, I still, I still love that that character that he played. Mm. You know, because and it's like he know it's like he's done it so much that he's literally copying and pasting things that he knows that these women want to hear, and he he's he's so good at playing that role. He it's like, right. The last girl was awesome. Yeah. The last girl's awesome. She was so cool. The last girl's awesome, but I also felt really bad for her. Like I felt like the they they play the way they cut it in the edit where she goes and she steals his clothes and she like it was that's such a great story. It's such a great like yeah. like conning the con artist. Mm-hmm. But it also made me sad because it was like, man, you That doesn't even come close to repaying. It doesn't come close to repaying. It's like you can tell she's like she's like, Yeah, like I got back in him, but it's just like you had the most to lose you were in the, the deepest with him like 14 months yeah that's a of our relationship she was like in love with him so she was reacting to just wow. like just the flip side of just like you son of a you know like <laughs> you could tell like she was just like desperate to yeah, get back at vindictive. him in any way possible and that's why she went to that extreme and she she literally goes to him sleeps in the same bed with him takes those clothes like can you imagine the mental emotional strain for just like the average person wow. to go in that situation and have to act yeah. next to this guy who like ruined your life? It's hard enough to to like sleep next to someone when you're at, mad at them and, the, and you love them right. still. And then <laughs> the way they cut it in the story, wow. they make it seem like this big victory. There's this like uppity music and she's like, "Yeah, like I'm badass." And it's like <laughs> it's like, "Yeah, but like She was though. Yeah. She was, but it's like it's not enough. And it, and, and yeah. I also felt I just felt horrible for her because I know that, like, as satisfying as that was in those moments, right? It still she must still, be so yeah, destroyed. like, yeah, heartbreaking. In the, uh, but it was satisfying to hear like that guy just spiral. Well, yeah, uh, he's just like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, multiple, multiple, I'm sorry, I love you. I'm sorry. His multiple personalities that yeah. he's trying to still play this, like, I still love you, babe, but like the actual. He's playing part every of him card that he ever plays. Exactly, he's trying. <laughs> All he's, at once. Yeah. He's, so trying the, he's trying the like I like you just made an enemy for yeah. life card, and then he's he's trying fear, and then he's trying. No, no, no! I still love you, and like, and then he's, and then he's trying like desperation, like please, yeah, yeah. please, I'm, I'm desperate. You're the last thing yeah. I have, and it's, he's just 
flip flopping from one or the other, and it was just like, whoa, like that's that's when that's that's who he really like, is. Yeah, he, he's like, like he's a like, uh, like desperate, yeah, yeah, yeah. like gimme, like, gimme, 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 gimme. Because she was like, <laughs> when I saw who he really was, when he didn't have the scam, he was literally nothing. He, yeah. There was nothing left after yeah. the scam. Was Did you see his handwriting? <laughs> Yes, and he couldn't spell. <laughs> so mean. My, like, no, my favorite part was actually the picture where he's like, "Babe, I'm staying in a hostel that was like twelve dollars, yeah. and it's a selfie of him it's with one a piece star. of paper with this like font that said whatever hostel." And I was just like, "Why would you send that to someone?" <laughs> yeah, she, he was trying to play the pity card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I, that was really fascinating to see him break down and and like in his desperation try every every play he had in his playbook. Mm -hmm. all at once and she was just not having it um i was just gonna ask another question someone talk while i think about it. Uh, um, do uh, uh, um do you like cheese <laughs> <laughs> my favorite <is> gouda <laughs> <laughs> oh no i i feel like the when we were talking about the ending and how unsatisfying it was yeah just being able mm. to see what annoyed me most was the fact that these women are still paying it off uh, again right. back to the anna delvey one at the end, they showed that one of the girls, the girl who actually gave up her location, had spent $60,000 or something on her company card, mm -hmm. and she was able to get that credit back. Like, she had to talk with the bank, but the bank paid for her and forgave that credit. Wow. Mm. And yet, it still feels like the same emotional sort of manipulation of, like, mm. yes, I'm agreeing to do this, but you're kind of, like... Right, it's forced, just so hard to prove it. coercion. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's you can't in the court of law. You need to be able to prove like a threat or something that you were doing this under not your own volition. Well, yeah, that's why like him not asking for money for like a month is like so brilliant. It's so brilliant in such a twisted way because he he's he played a, a month long is game. a month is long enough that it's like you. I'm dating this guy. You are my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And I, and I'm driving a Bentley. Uh, you drove in. You flew in a. a he has a me shopping jet. for fifteen thousand dollars a month apartments. Like he'll pay me back. Of course he. Of course he will. Yeah, like he has money. Oh, yeah. and he's in trouble, and I really care about. It. So like he knew exactly how to how to Emotionally, stagger these yeah. these scams in such a way that he was yeah, actively play to the emotions. That that's not the part that bothered. Like the part that would that bothered me the most was like the initial connection. It's just like come on, like really. Like that, that quickly, it's exciting. just like, I and, get, yeah. I mean, and it's I, a YOLO thing. Like she said, it's, it's like, well, it's a YOLO thing in your mind. I mean, it's a YOLO thing. <laughs> what would be like the role reversal equivalent? If you are a guy and you're looking for a genuine connection online, what are the red flags that you would see in a girl's profile that you'd be like, no, not real well, or I, whatever. We're just, I went through this. <laughs> well, I, I think the ultimate. <laughs> what you did say that? No, I'm saying, I mean, I just oh, went through. Yeah. So tell me what going through the, the dating app thing recently it's just like so, answer, so answer the tacos question and <laughs> tacos and tacos and tequila is the red flag for me what like that's not a personality or well because it's just like every girl Everyone for some reason tacos. just that's that's the I, their identity and i'm like well oh, okay yeah now there's nothing wrong with that like but it's just if that's who you are for some reason uh no i don't i don't know I, like obviously if somebody was like their identity was hey look i go on cruises or something i'm like i probably we're probably in like different worlds and i wouldn't yeah i wouldn't necessarily you know connect with that person go ahead but i, I, like, I want to know like, what would be the female equivalent of a scam on tinder you know what i mean yeah well isn't there like a russian that's, story that's, that's the end inventing, one invent, inventing is oh, yeah hers okay. was kind of just she i don't know how she kept getting this money in but she was able to again emotionally manipulate people into yeah. just doing stuff like oh i forgot my credit card or they declined my credit card my dad's working on it she used a voice changer to oh. pose as her like lawyer sort of thing to tell them oh yeah she's definitely got like a 60 million dollar air like stuff that she's going to inherit soon enough and that's how she like yeah. proved to get loans and that's amazing all this stuff but i think with the test back to the tinder thing the test for that one was to see if you've got the right woman is if she'll say yes to going on this flight to fly to this random right. location. That I think if they said does no, make a lot of sense. he would stop and move on to the next person. But the fact that he found someone so willing and so like 
yeah, whatever yeah. sort of thing. Like she's more likely to say yes to yeah, these easily. Sort of thing. Fool. If you're gonna say yes to that big thing right off the bat, then I I got you. Yeah, I, I, you're willing to be kidnapped. Okay, <laughs> I can swindle you. You're, you're, you're yeah. gonna actually trust me to take you somewhere and not kill you. That's, wow, you're you're the you're the that's one. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, like if you if you're jumping into that right away, it's just like oh, you've already lost. Like. Mm -hmm. Which I'm is genius. About, it's like you have to have that big test. You right gotta have a beginning. litmus test if you're gonna if you're gonna scam people. You gotta have a good litmus <laughs> test. Yeah, no. gotta, here's your camera. Private if you're gonna chat. scam people, gotta <laughs> have, have a good litmus, litmus test. test. Yes. I say it every, every podcast. Time. <laughs> Here at the Voting Podcast. Classic saying. Classic Cody. <laughs> and don't forget. <laughs> Uh, meaning, I was, me, t telling meaningful stories, and if you're gonna teaching scam you how to someone, <laughs> scam, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like what would work on on me. Well, because I've got these free tickets. I was texting. To go see the I was texting. Show. My, Bro, I've been scamming you since I met you. I was texting my girlfriend last know. night, and I was like, "Are you swindling, tindling me, or am I <laughs> tindling, swindling you?" And did at, she watch it too? Yeah. And as I was like thinking about it, I was like, "Oh my god!" Like. I'm thinking about like what she would work on me, and I'm be. like, her, her, she, she's doing she, it. She, no, not that I was worried about <laughs> that, but I'm like, if somebody, it would be so, it would be so like, like a very niche, very niche type of scam, where yeah. it's like you get to know someone really well right off the bat. <laughs> no. You're modest, and it's not like really flashy. Right. It, find you find exactly you find exactly yeah you what find you like want. exactly <laughs> the person who's gonna like fall in love with you and it's like you're you're like the, you've processed and it life. really only works one really time <laughs> because there's really only one soulmate yeah. and then <laughs> yeah <laughs> you find your soulmate and it's like you both process life and like and like have these amazing conversations you get into a ten year relationship and, and you like help each like, other through hard times yeah like, <laughs> but it's. <laughs> But you happen to be like so attracted to each other at the same time, right. and it's like there's like truth to it. But but then you're also she just allows herself to completely fall in love, but then just can hit a wall and just go click off and just like <laughs> totally. I was like imagining. But just what's now, the like, scam? What What'd she take? get out of you? Just a meaningful relationship for a while. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the, gotcha. The Sucker. actual scam is actually the free meals that you get when you go on yeah, dates. Yeah, just, so it's someone just, going on a bunch of dates just to get free meals during the week out of it. Yeah. Um, Unbelievable. I don't know. That was Gracie and I last night too. We were like, "Are you swindling me? Uh, have you been married to me for two years? Are and you my kid? It's a long you're, game. You're, <laughs> wow, it's for my money, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. You're deep in this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how much longer? I love that you become so paranoid. Well, she didn't want your last name for there for a little while there, Ooh. so <laughs> that's a sign. Oh, uh, it struck a nerve. Ah! <laughs> let me let me ask this: Have you ever been conned on some level, and have you ever yep. conned on some level? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's an open table discussion uh, uh yeah there's the second one not gonna tell those stories but um <laughs> when you were conning because there's no stories to be I told no, i've never done anything <laughs> no uh well uh votary We've had Pond me. We'll have <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm still working. They there. told me this was a I've real company. I've been conning you guys this whole time. No, I. We've had multiple experiences with, like, me as a salesperson and other salespeople, uh, being being scammed. Mm -hmm. And and we've never lost any money, but we've come so close. And it's like oh, you yeah. realize last minute, and you've been like stringing this. They've been stringing you along for like a week or two. And um, yeah, well, will, the one with it will Ben never, Farber. Shout out! Yeah, oh, check, it. <laughs> check it out. I'm, ah! I'm pretty sure that, that he that that we did accept a deposit on that one, right? And then we refunded it. I don't know. I think that's no. I think that's real. Yeah, the, yep. it was. I don't like know a, if we're, uh, that's a sensitive information. <laughs> well, I don't know. We're just gonna have to bleep that out. You yeah, know? <laughs> I'm pretty yeah. sure that <laughs> is it. Well, no, I kind of want to tell people that the that place is like that's yeah it's creepy. watch out don't, it's creepy don't accept jobs. but uh that's happened yeah that's definitely happened that's to me. actually a murderous cult they've there's uh in they Ch have murdered that group of people has <coughs> been tied to violence in china so yeah watch out hey if you're gonna scam <laughs> people <laughs> don't scam because <laughs> they'll, they'll probably kill you uh <clears throat> yeah so i've been uh, what, what about you we should bleep out all this so they don't come and kill us yeah right? think, have okay so I, I think we all have run into a billion you know online scam attempts and phone call attempts and crap like that uh definitely gotten into into fights with like those the the guys from like nigeria or india which they get so mad when you call them out 
it's so funny because it's they actually very similar to the way that he reacted in that like instant anger like how dare you you double cross me yeah like, exactly and you I, make an enemy for life I've, yeah i've had that such reaction a, i'm coming for you i had that such, reaction just from such a cartoon from phone scammers you know like yeah. where I, I i asked a guy once i was like how do you how do you sleep at night <laughs> he's like what i'm like how do you how do you live with yourself like trying to scam you try to scam old people Xanax. like and he's like oh, Comfy pillow. And he's like I'm like, and I said, I'm like, I'm like, you're an a hole. Yeah. And he's like, hey, I'm an a, you're a son of a bitch. And he just starts screaming at me. And I'm just like, all right, bye. But it's actually interesting to draw the parallel. Like, you watch those YouTube videos of guys stringing. We were talking about this yesterday, yeah. right? <laughs> like gaming scammers. Yeah. Yeah. It's They'll like do voice um, changers and. Uh, there's an app. So someone funny. someone made an app where if you get that call, because because basically those guys are not allowed to hang up because if like if they can get the scam and keep you on the phone, they will. And so their bosses or whatever like never hang up on the on the mark. Yeah. So there's a guy who made an app that is a it's AI and it's and it just gives like canned responses to keep them on the phone for as oh long as possible. So gosh. you're just doing your thing, and it transfers the call to an app. And the app just keeps them occupied for as long as possible. And the idea is that you're wasting their time and money and they can't scam other people as long as you are keeping them on the phone. So it's just kind of like this. Hmm. Um, but so, I don't know if I've ever been like scam scammed. Um, there is some good in this world. One one story that <laughs> was my grandfather. I hate this is the stuff that drives me crazy. Preying on the elderly. No, the same thing happened with my uh my grandma. Yeah, that's the worst stuff. Cause like what happened was uh some guy looked up, made a connection between my brother, my older brother and my grandfather. And, and there's like actual research that they go yeah, they in go, on, it's work. on an individual yeah. level. They'll go in, right. find things about the person and then use it against them. To and, you know, th and this was, a, scam this was either money. local or at least it was an American. And, and he called my grandfather who uh, he's, he's gone now, but he was senile. Like he had dementia mm. and uh, basically pretended to be a police officer who had my brother in, in uh, custody oh and, and was saying like, you need to send to, in order to get Devin out of jail, you need to, you need to send bail money. Um, and like had set it up to like how it would happen. And then my grandfather, thank God called my dad and was like, what's going on with Devin? Like how, you know, like how was he doing some drugs? Blah, blah, blah. And then, and my dad was like, he's with me in Florida. Like, what are you talking about? And then we, and then they had to call the police and, and like, but he was close, like, and, and people wow. elderly get into those scams all the time. Yeah. It's I terrible. Know, it's yeah. It, that sucks. <laughs> Cause like they can't, they can't process, I think the level of research that you can do and right. How could not, they know? It's all not this, just yeah. like, and how much information is online. Right. Yeah. Like, so if, yeah, you could, yeah, you could dupe old people who you can do anyone who aren't senile yeah, yeah. You, exactly if you, you can you can fool anybody um i don't know it's i've always thought an amazing show would be um someone who was like a reformed con man was like the host and knew the tricks and knew like how Maybe we can get it. simon on here and then um <laughs> you imagine get simon on the podcast please <laughs> and then basically when people are fall victim to a scam or someone reports like an ongoing scam it wouldn't work for like the nigerian although i guess there is a video where a guy went all the way to nigeria and confronted those people but um but like it's like more local con artists right they're 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 running their game and then yeah then let's keep it local they yeah. get reported and it's kind of like catfish, like a catfish yeah. model where, yeah. where the, the professional scam artist who is now like using his, his knowledge for good is like helping people f track down the person that scammed them. And There's not you, a show like that. And then you confront them. It, that basically is catfish. Well, if we're saying, if we're almost psychoanalyzing. Dateline? It's kind of like Dayline or, or uh, To Catch a Predator. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we're psychoanalyzing most con men as people who do not know how to like come out of that though is that like you'd have to find a, the special case to, and then you'd have to have the confidence to believe that they're not just like conning <laughs> in the process i think i just think it would be fascinating because you probably you would get that level of dissatisfaction in at the end of every episode where you're like i want this person to be remorseful and they wouldn't be but at least it would be interesting to see them like get arrested or be confronted or whatever yeah, what, what do you feel like is like proper justice for these people because obviously five months Simon went to jail for five months, and then he's out. I couldn't believe that. I was so frustrated. Good behavior. Five months of a 15-month sentence. 
Well, of course, of course, he had good behavior. Right. Of course. He probably scammed every guard in the place. <laughs> every, yeah. Uh, yeah. The dude is charming. Yeah, I don't know what I, I love him. He's my best bud. I don't know what just I don't know what justice is for me. that. <laughs> I don't know what justice is for that because well, he also didn't get charged with anything except for like oh, he had a fake he falsified passport. a passport. Yeah, he had a fake passport. It had it's nothing like, to do with it had on. nothing to do with the real damage he'd done to people's lives. No, and, and I mean that's how it goes a lot of the time. But just like somebody. So how is he getting money criminal. now? Like how is he living his life? We now. don't know. He prob he's been scamming since he was a teenager. He probably has a whole new thing going for him. He's probably not not on Tinder doing the same type of thing. He's on un unhinged <laughs> <laughs> or on Bumble. Oh. Yeah. I mean, maybe he is. Imagine the scam on Bumble where the girl has to initiate. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Pretty good. I mean, he he had a few different things going like years ago in those like voice messages and that montage there was a lot of people were like oh he said he was he's like the baby said my son yeah he's oh like he God. said he was like the son like, of son of this like oh rabbi and all this stuff it's like this guy's got endless mm -hmm. ideas no it's they like if, they if knew he that put he his mind to something like useful he'd probably be successful at like you know actually working yeah but no. yeah but it's like what could he do well, he, whatever, what could he do that would benefit society? Whatever he could do, it probably a wouldn't. Salesman. It wouldn't result in yeah, right. It probably wouldn't result in like private jet, right? Type yeah. money, you know. Yeah, he could start a company. Well, apparently he yeah he yeah, did. he's doing business consulting. He's doing business consulting. <laughs> Which, truthfully, like if he actually could uh, <clears throat> assetize his his, <laughs> his his tricks, you know, like how to sell somebody uh, on something. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, there are other people who would be it, the, all, all of the not illegal stuff. The he, funny part is he probably is good at that. Yeah, he could create a, a con man pyramid scheme. You know what I mean? Like, here's how you con. I'm going to teach you how to con people in your life. That's probably what it is. <gasps> He says he's he's teaching business consulting. It's like let's, what kind of consulting? Let's is this go guy through his at? consulting and make a show out of. Oh, let's yeah. Do, let's pay for his. Oh my services. god! Yeah, it's only like four hundred bucks. Let's do it. I want to know. <laughs> it's four hundred bucks. It's yeah, right. That's what it said. Oh that's, yeah, it was like that's how he's yeah. making money though. That's probably well, level one. Yeah, but how are how many people are falling for that? Especially in, like this documentary is big. Mm -hmm. His face is everywhere. Yeah. But worldwide, it's like there's still plenty of people who've never, obviously, never watched it, never heard of it, and you know his girlfriend now clearly doesn't care. I yeah, it was really interesting to see his uh, home, his childhood home in Israel, and it was just like really not great. And, yeah. and his wasn't that his mom? Yeah, and his mom was just like, I don't, I don't. He's not. That's not his name anymore. I don't talk to him anymore. And, yeah, and he's just gone. Makes makes total sense. I mean, and it's like, doesn't seem like he they found had a great he found a way to get out of there, and he stuck to it. Well, I found that when she w they were you, talking buddy. to her, they were like, she was like, yeah, he changed his name to Simon. And I had like a moment. I'm like, ha, gotcha. <laughs> but then it continued on and it didn't feel like a gotcha moment. No. It was just one of those things where they just continue on with the investigation. All that like, was was confirmation that uh, Simon Laviv was Simon, whatever his real name was. And they're like, oh, it's the same person. Yeah. And that he was wanted in Israel for faking documents or some other kind of scam. But So how do I feel like how do people... I don't know. It's weird. It's like, I'm not a trusting person. And so I watch this stuff and I, it's like easy for me to be like, this girl's naive and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, I, but recently I've like fallen in love with somebody totally trusting. Aww. And that's why I'm like listening. I'm like watching this and I'm like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like oh. how did, like, how, hmm, like, I don't know. Like how do, it's like, do you expect somebody to, to just not to watch this? And like women, especially, just like not trust like any guy you know what i mean like how what's the balance it's like I, may, maybe no, don't, well, maybe don't go it's rare maybe don't fly in a private gentleman for first night or something you know <laughs> i mean that's why I said, i'd say that'll do it <laughs> i'd say that'll do it well that's why I you said, sure about that <laughs> yesterday i was like oh a lot of women listen to and watch two crimes so they know what to look out for because yeah it, i i understand how these women were like oh wow like he's giving me cute nicknames and he's being sweet and all that stuff the like thing that would like stick with me and a lot of other people is just like, but why would they give him thousands and thousands of dollars of money? Like, yes, it's over like, uh, and over. And it's like, I get like, I feel like there's a certain point uh, that you'd reach. I get that you care about him, but I'm like, I feel like there's a certain point you reach where you're like, 
Okay, yeah, this is a lot of money. These aren't girls who got like tons of savings. These are these are women who loans. who are yeah, taking, uh, out taking out personal loans, high interest taking loans. out loans upon loans with like nine, diff- nine different banks. It's like, well, c- because he he knew how to do just enough to to pr- like um, he would falsify the bank receipts and he would pay them back like triple what they loaned him, mm-hmm. right? Because in- yeah, but they didn't never would receive that money. Of course, but but what I'm saying is that's he would why send like, he would send like a screenshot of like yeah, even they would get a little boost, and then but they would be, be willing to give. That's him what I was confused about. Right that that's how he could keep it going longer. Yeah, um, and like because they're like, oh my gosh, I'm making like two hundred thousand dollars, or I'm making sixty thousand dollars. Because you have to remember too that like at at this point they are completely believing that he is a billionaire. Uh, so yeah. like, so if you believe that's the that, thing it's like if if you believe that and and, and he's, a he's providing a valid enough excuse in your mind for why he can't access his money in that moment mm-hmm. and that there's this mistake that's the thing is like all these conners use this threat of impending danger to push you forward yeah and so yeah that that video do you think the video of his um of his bodyguard was real do you think that that I, actually I, uh, happened? I think it could. I, I could see either way. Either like they probably did get in a fight in a bar one night, and he just capitalized on it because nah, they fucked, faked it, or they faked the whole thing and set it up. I, I don't it, think they faked it. I think that that was real. I think he actually got assaulted, and they just he just used that he's video like, perfect. Yeah. over. Yeah, and and uh, it was amazing to see when the third girl <clears throat> made the connection to the first girl's story, and she was going through her WhatsApp and was like. This is all same, the same date, stuff. same message, same date, same message, so same location. So he's, he's just, wearing the same clothes. He's just, yeah, he's, he's just he's going, in the same. Yeah, like, so he's jet. like, okay, girl number one, blah, 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 blah. girl number two, la 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 la. la. I love you so three. much, yeah. baby. We're gonna be forever <laughs> I miss together, you. and I'm gonna pay, make babies with you. Mm. I love you, baby. It's gonna <laughs> can't wait to be so babies with you. I'm just like, <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah. It's funny too that that like that that like worked. It worked so well. Um, what do you guys think would happen if he was like placed in a room and had to go through therapy over an extended period of time? I think He'd scam the therapist. If we've learned anything, <laughs> if we've he learned could, love he, with could, he, <laughs> could someone lead him to a place of remorse? If we, I think if we've learned Jesus. anything from the Sopranos, no, that's kind of the point of the Sopranos. There's people who are so far gone that therapy will actually just help them manipulate better. Yeah, learn. Mm. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? That's what... I've never watched? seen Sopranos. Oh, well, the whole thing is him going through therapy and the therapist really wanting to help him, but he's so far gone that there's really no point. What? Yeah. I <clears throat> like to believe that no one is beyond redemption, but I think... I would like to believe that. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, I am certain that uh, no matter what you try for someone they won't they won't accept it but he would have to actually want redemption well that's that's my point and so so i think that everyone is capable of that choice i think everyone has the capacity to say i want to not do this anymore i i I believe um Mm. but i don't believe that everyone will make that choice so it's like no so i think it's true that no one is beyond redemption but it's also true that not everyone will accept redemption yeah do do you guys think that he deserves to die (laughs) Yeah, I think everyone be easy, <laughs> easy for me to Sorry, say. It's very dark. I, I think we all deserve to die, technically. <laughs> if you uh, want to get technical with it, I feel like he deserves life imprisonment. Yeah, I don't. Th- I don't think he should be like able to ever. He's just gonna go back to free. it. Like he's reached a point where, like we, you were saying, he's a like, menace. He's the guy's a, a menace beyond return. Where to society, <laughs> like, menace to society. He is. Sorry, what were you Truth. Saying? No, no, like he just reached a certain point where it's like, yeah, like, oh, I'm so sorry for what I did. Like, you you know he's going to go back and do this because yeah. he's like accustomed to a certain way of life that now that his face is plastered everywhere as like a big red flag, then obviously maybe there's some scheming salespeople in the business world who will be like, ah, this guy's got some smarts, we'll hire him. But like... He obviously doesn't want to work. Well, I mean, that, he just mm, wants to just. There's so get many money people like that. That's stuff. like Jeffrey Epstein. He basically conned his way into the financial world, and he he was very intelligent. Like intelligence by itself is is such a dangerous weapon if there's no morality behind it. And uh, I'm actually some interesting parallels to Nightmare Alley. Like that character was essentially a con man. Yeah. Yeah. And and like I I like that more stories are coming out where it's like. 
these like attractive, uh, intelligent people, and a lot of a lot of the times men, young men, are the villains <laughs> because that's more accurate. Yeah, so it's not like this. Like, do you think that our whole society w- will become more and more distrusting? I well, that's that's what I'm wondering. Like watching this, and I'm like, you know, because it does good, seem like a, a good theme. Thing. You'll like, l- you'll learn maybe like w- maybe a lot of women will learn from it. A lot of guys will learn from it, and just like a lot of guys will learn how to come learn how to yeah. how to <laughs> take advantage scary of people. Part well, no, but people like people get to see that these things are actually working. So yes, you know what to look out for. But I feel like it's yeah, going to uh, be something that it's it's nothing <laughs> new. Like it's just come. It comes down to morality again. It comes down to principles. If you're a pr- if you're a person of principle and conviction. Even if you know that certain things, you know, I know I could go rob a bank and, and you know, I, whatever I could, I could manipulate people. I could con them, but I wouldn't do it cause it's wrong. And bank that robbery is a lot harder than that. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I tried. the point being, I is could that do it. I, Watch me. I think, it comes I think the episode. major reason most people don't <laughs> commit crimes and do wrong things and take advantage of people is not get, because they're caught. illegal or could get caught. I would get caught. Yeah. It's because. <laughs> They have a moral <laughs> conviction that says that's oh, wrong. Well, and also just fear. <clears throat> like, you're fear, you are afraid that you'll get caught. But it's a lot of work. He too. wasn't afraid. Like, he's not afraid of getting caught. Doesn't seem like. Well, he has gotten caught multiple times. And he's just like, well, we'll get out. He's like, oh, no fun. repercussions. New name. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, so you guys don't think he deserves to die? You think he deserves life imprisonment? Is, is that sound about right? I, I'd be fine with I'm just like fantasizing about just like what should happen to him, you know? I am. It, that's what it, that's, I could that's come up I with some colorful ideas, but well, no, like no, I you know obviously like torture and all this stuff. But like, I don't think <laughs> he, I don't I don't think that's necessary. I think it's just like he shouldn't be allowed to interact with anyone. Well, I think what was really amazing about Nightmare <clears> Alley <throat> is like, even though that's a very dramatized punishment for him, and poetic, mm-hmm. essentially, I think that's what that's ultimately what most people who live that life will end up as. Yeah, you know what I mean, like kind of that tortured lonely unfulfilled yeah damned soul oh i feel yeah and i feel that way with with simon I, I, by the end i was like they're playing this off like look how look how horrible this is that he's still he's getting got away, away with, with it and, I, and i'm like yeah but like this guy's like right like he's, we don't know what's going on it's not good enough it's not a good enough punishment five months and then you're out and then you're doing the same thing and like oh great he's miserable and like in inside most likely but maybe not maybe he's so far gone that it's just like he's like woohoo <laughs> you know you know and, and and i think the 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 litmus test for you as an indiv- individual is like would you rather be the person who is perpetuating evil and taking advantage of people and and finding great financial success through that or would you rather be the good person the moral person who got deceived and is and lost all their money oh yeah like the one extreme or whatever yeah i'm Uh, would you rather be simon or one of these girls who who uh got taken advantage of but like obviously what I'm getting at is what's most important in being human. Yeah. Right? You, well, you, you should be able to trust and that is a risk. You know, it's a huge risk. And I, I personally would rather <clears throat> be a person who did not uh, sacrifice their principles or morals and got taken advantage of and, and is still a good person and just is in a bad way now than being some <laughs> person lacking in empathy and, and morality and just like, yeah, you're rich now. Good for I you. mean, one one that looks like a lot more fun. <laughs> <laughs> right. I wonder if anyone's done like a GoFundMe or something for the girls. I was thinking girls. that. I was like, th- I'm like, to enough get. people would watch this and pay these. It these wouldn't take that much. Yeah. No. I mean, maybe she probably still has two hundred thousand dollars or something. I don't know. Yeah. But it's crazy that they're still paying those debts off. It's really insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? When did it all happen? Was it like 2018? Yeah, it was like last, the last five recent, years yeah. or whatever. Mm. It must have been before COVID, though, right? Could be. Could be. Anyways. Uh, yeah, not, never around. even came up. C- came up? That didn't came up to me. <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> all right. Losing steam. <laughs> need, need, need espresso. Well, all right. Any last thoughts about the ending? Because it's really frustrating, but also... Yeah. Also, yeah, I don't know. It's I wanted like, to throw my phone. I know. You You almost did. You held on to it, but you did the motion. Yeah. I feel like it's one of those things that I need, like, a follow-up in five years from now. Like, yes, yeah. it, it, I felt like it was 
I, I know Let's that this just came out. Instagram. He's on Instagram. Malia looked it, looked it up. He got kicked off, or well, or, or like, he. I just looked, and there's a couple fake ones. Oh no, I want the real one. Well, he. I think he. I think, <laughs> I don't he, think he can get shut back down back. his Instagram, and then and then like shortly after, put it back up. Some, there, Simon. Uh, there is one that L- is Lviv. official. Simon Lviv official. It has 1.2 million. That's the one. That's the but one that they show in the show. That's a real one, though. Yeah. I don't know. It, Every story it has fake. two sides. Yeah, I think I saw something. He's where only he's following gonna be 11 getting, people. No, actually, he's w- going to be getting paid to do some sort of book. There's or an story. interview. Yeah. There's an interview like this mo- week or something like that, like coming up where he's. Put that on the mic. I'm all alone. I need you to send me this money. It's urgent. Please, yeah, th- I think that's a fake. I wish you all a great Please help me out. The Peter is down. Peter is in the hospital. Yeah, no, that's Peter just that's down. just a video. That's a video that he must have sent. One it of might be ladies. put together by yeah. the documentary to like so that they could show all these things and have it look like Instagram. Yeah, it uh, says official. No, that's not. That's so not you it. think they they created Simon Levy official and put it in for the doc. That that's what it that. seems like by that video. He would never put. He would never post a video saying, "Give me Peter is down. Peter's, Peter's down. down. <laughs> Peter's that down. That was that was three hours ago. Yeah, they just posted. Well, that. I did. I think I read an article uh, after watching it that he is going to be doing like an interview with some publication yeah. to like tell his side of. The I know. Story. I really want to. I want to. I, some something else that came to mind too is just like just like discernment in general. Like it's. I mean, it's difficult, but like the, that Cecilia, it's not like she was void of that. Like the second time she meets up after she gives him money, she's she said something that was like very insightful and like clearly she's paying attention. She's like, there was like a, I couldn't get through this cloud in his yeah. eyes to, to pierce through and be with him. Like mm-hmm. that's huge. Like it's like, uh, that's which also like how crazy is it that he could fake the opposite of that authentically enough to trick her? You know what I mean? Like. Like to me, that that cold shell is how he actually feels about her. He has no real. That's like hi, the real him. Yeah. He was able to not have that cloud in his eyes and genuinely make her feel loved. Well, that was the fantasy of it. Like he yeah. was building this whole like fairy tale that she wanted and was giving it to her. And yes, like you would be able to see that, but, but I think she horrifying? had a cloud over oh, her I own eyes. Being mm. like, oh man, he really likes me, and that is clouding her judgment. Finally, when she sees the scam, she's suddenly clear to see that he too has a different type of cloud over his eyes. Yeah, yeah. but it's like the same idea. It it feels like you would be able to, you know, see that in somebody. You know, I when I, yeah, when I look in someone's eyes and even even if they're like, I don't know, just like talking about themselves all the time, you almost like can see the like true kind of like motivation motivation of conversation colors. you're just like you're like oh. shining through <laughs> like you <I> just see <laughs> do you know what i mean colors. you're like ah oh, you just like wanna you're just like very like self absorbed and it's like you can just like see that in like their their face and it's you almost are like well could, why couldn't you see that sort of like oh tinder distance? banned him of course they did. He's, <laughs> he's also banned from Match and Plenty of Fish and OK Cupid. For reals? Yeah. But he out Christian It's Mingle. only a matter of time before he gets that plastic surgery. Oh, that was the other thing that was crazy, he, right? And he changes his name again. And, and it's then, only a matter of time. No, right? no. He's, I he's, think he's going to embrace the fame because mm-hmm. it says, shortly after the release of the doc, Laviv signed with talent manager Gina Rodriguez of Giatoni. Boy. In hopes of pursuing a career in the entertainment industry. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna be on the next season of Big Brother. This guy is <laughs> think about it. You're this not guy gonna is industrious. You're not gonna not wanna see it. You're it's, gonna want to see like, it. It's like um what they say all all press is good press. Yeah. The, the, he the, he's the epitome of that. He's taking But again, that to me, like that's the equivalent of the geek. Like he's becoming the geek. He, he's becoming the sideshow. Cody's wow. just Cody is just so sad that he missed the, uh, the Let's Nightmare Alley podcast. <laughs> Do you, you agree though, right? <laughs> it's like it totally correlates, right? <laughs> you agree though, right? <laughs> no, I thought Bring that was deep. Nightmare Alley. Yeah, see, he sees it, you idiot. <laughs> I thought it was deep. <laughs> also, I, I also have to call you out on your other hypocrisy about me talking over Emma because I would I would ask anyone to go back to the Matrix Resurrection episode and see how much I was able to talk over you. Zero? None. But that's because Matrix Resurrections. <laughs> no, you point not. one finger at someone else, four <laughs> fingers are pointing at you. Except I'm, I'm the pointing geek. my thumb I'm becoming at you. Matrix Resurrections <laughs> was. 
I I was bo- I was boiling over. It's like that Spider Man meme. I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't function until I couldn't literally function in life until I talked to you before we did the podcast for three hours, talked to my roommate, talked to myself, there was and a, then there also was a, had to have a podcast. There's a darkness that had to get out. I get it. Yeah, it was there was poison inside <laughs> me that I needed to just like vomit out. I don't know why I brought it up. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Are we wrapping this bad boy? Yes, wrap it. Bip, 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 bip. Hey, thanks Quote. for listening. <laughs> In a CNN interview, I'm not this monster. I was just a single guy that wanted to meet some girls on Tinder. <laughs> just and like cool. all those other guys out there. Oh, poor Siamese Sims. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sweet, sweet Simon. Hashtag <laughs> save Simon. <laughs> Simon says, "Oh." <laughs> Simon says, "Feel bad for me." <laughs> he says, "I'm a legit businessman. I don't need to say how much." Oh, he he says, "He purchased Bitcoin in 2011. I don't need to say how much it's worth now." <laughs> oh, boo! Cool. No, he didn't. He he has swindled people out of millions of dollars. Yeah. That is crazy. I mean, hey, he's like affected the economy. Well, <laughs> the way it's that, affecting the economy. The it's way that he did it though, he didn't do it in such a way that he was swindling people out of cash by and large. Like yes, he was getting lump sums of 30 and 40, but he was spending that right away. Yeah. And so he was riding on credit cards. <laughs> this is what's so funny about it. It's literally just fueling his ridiculous lifestyle <laughs> right. that has that's contributing nothing. You need the money to perpetuate the lie to get the money. Like that's, you know what it's I mean? It's so useless and silly. So like, you need- he, it's not like he was doing anything. He didn't do one cool thing with money. The lie. He is, had so much money. The lie is predicated on the belief that he's a billionaire. And so if he can't live a life that's demonstrative of a billionaire, then it, the lie doesn't work. Yeah, but billionaires actually will do stuff. Yeah, that's the funny part. It's like he was- Go to Just space. flying places <laughs> and partying and eating. Go to space. Flying places, <laughs> partying, eating. He, it's like that's that's it. He, but what I was getting at is like, there's probably no way he actually had any real money in his own bank account because it was all he was living on debt. You know, he was using other people's. Well, debt. that's also part of why he was able to get get away with it because if he has bank accounts, right. and he has credit cards in his own name and all of that, then there's a, a paper trail. Yeah. So it's like he's literally living on the cutting edge. Like that, it just goes to show the first wow. time he uh, a victim got wise, he was done. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, the first that he had the first girl <clears throat> literally fly and deliver him what twenty thousand dollars in cash. Yeah, she's like, I was so scared. What if they found it in my suitcase? It's like, <laughs> oh my gosh. That's not a red flag. I don't know what is a red flag. <laughs> I, 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 I oh no, the biggest red flag that I, we forgot to mention, and then we, and then we were done. I don't know. And then we're done. I don't know how long we've, we've been going on, but the watches, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get them watches. It's like that's the most like. Like, if, if you fly it to me, I'll give I'll you a give watch. I'll give you a watch. Like, I don't what, know why it's not going through. It's like a door the Explorer what kind one of from back Walmart. Backdoor alley pawn shop crap. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> else got their money, but I can give you a watch. <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> like, this watch is with a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, okay. That she is, should have asked for his clothes. That is the most <laughs> like New York streets like <sighs> scam. You know that that showed his real uncut jobs. That showed his real <laughs> uncut <dogs. laughs> That showed his real like persona. Like like this little like like peddler on the street. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Give you a watch. Like it's just like oh, the okay, homeless God. king. Okay. The homeless king. Yeah. Man. Well. Yeah. Like his. If you could see his soul, it's like a little worm. We were saying earlier it would be great if there was a movie. This will never happen, but if they made a movie that was like a romantic comedy and marketed that way, that then the true colors of like the guy or the girl were shown to be something uh, like of this caliber and it was just like a total, sk- and then it becomes like this like thriller where like it's like really intense, but nobody knows because it's not marketed that way at all. That that'd would be, be great. That'd be so amazing, but that'll never happen because people would have like a heart, a heart attack in the theater and stuff and like. They would. You, they don't. Market, I've thought about that a lot. Like marketing a movie to be look like something that it's completely not. I think that'd be really fun. Yeah, yeah it would be great. I think that's but gotta have been done to some level. To some level. Just fake trailers are out there where they have what? Suicide Squad. Is that what you guys are talking about? Suicide no. Squad. Is yeah. that what it was? It was <laughs> wow. Wow. Wait, which which the the first Suicide Squad? 
I love that you chose that movie. There's so many bad movies. That <laughs> no, are that's a bad here. movie. The second Suicide Squad I started was also very bad. Um, I started but it, was, it. It was not that bad. It was better than the other one. It was better. I but, haven't uh, finished it. Yet. The James Gunn one? This, whatever, yeah. whatever the second With one With the was. shark? Yeah. With the, the weird rat the guy? Weasel. <laughs> that guy's it's weasel. That's like so he, funny. And the polka I, dot man? It is entertaining, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, we'll stop. You, They're coming, the siren. Yeah. How how long are we in right now? Oh, oh yeah, we're done. <laughs> oh, we're done. We're done. Oh, right. that'll do it. Thanks for listening. Wait, <laughs> that was a good. That was a good podcast. Just watch Strong it. Strong ending for <laughs> this wanna podcast. If you want to be a subscribing scribbler, yeah, and you want to be in control of your algorithmic destiny, <laughs> scribble on. The I want scr- to. Scr- just Me. just just scribble. Just we'll give it a little sub scribbles. You know. Yeah. So squibble. <laughs> squibble. This was the Tindler Swindler, and thanks for listening. We love you. Listeners. I love you guys. Emma, thanks for being on. Oh, thanks Sorry for if we talked me. over you. We get excited, ah. and then we talk, and then we had caffeine. And First morning podcast. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good time. What do you think? I no? bet we're better lit. Yeah, we lit up in here. Uh, I like evenings, but... <sighs> yeah. Well, you're, yeah, you're like a crusty eyed. Are we about to talk about times of day at the end of this (laughs) podcast? Because I don't have the, I'm not doing it. I don't have the bandwidth. All right, see you guys on Tinder. Bye.